great leaders, let us do it. Subtraction of all numbers and decimals. Subtraction of all numbers and decimal numbers. We should be considering that today. All numbers and decimal. All numbers and decimals. Remember, when I treated addition of all numbers and decimals, I was able to tell you in that class that if you're adding decimal numbers and all numbers, you should always express the all numbers in decimal form like 9 to 9.0 or try to know or identify the decimal places that we have in the decimal point number that will help you express your own number to take up that decimal places also. So if a number has a four decimal place number and you want to express the whole number in a four decimal place form, you simply add point and four zeros. Now let's consider some examples here and deal with those examples. Look at this. 5.768 take away 3. 5.768 take away 3. Solution. 5.768 is a 3 decimal place number. 5.768 is a 3 decimal place number. So I need to express 3 as a 3 decimal place number. That would be 3.000. So what I have here will be 5.768 take away 3.000. Now let's deal with this. You have 5.768. Point before the point you have three, then you have zero, zero, zero. Put your operational sign and let's take away eight. Take away zero is eight. Six take away zero is six. Seven take away zero is seven. Point five take away three. Your answer is two. So the answer we have there is two point seven six eight. Two point seven six eight. Remember. Always express your own numbers to take the, 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 the state or the form of the decimal place you are dealing with. Let's consider another example. You have 7 take away 3.9684. 7 take away 3.9684. This number here, the decimal point number is a 4 decimal place number. So I will need to express my 7 to take the form of 4 decimal place number as 7.0000. Take away 3.9684. Let's deal with the simple problem on the board. It's not difficult. Or do you think it's difficult? No. So just let us now deal with it properly. You have 7.0000. Then your point here, your decimal point should tally with this other one. You add your point on that. Before the point, you have 3. Then you have your 9. After the point, 6, 8, 4. Put your operational sign. Take away. Draw your line. 0, take away 4 is not possible. And I cannot borrow from 0. I can't borrow from 0. I can't borrow from this 0. I will borrow from 7 right now. What will be left will be 6. But remember, the one you borrowed is 10. Add it here. You have your 10. Borrow from 10. You have 9 left. Add it here. You have your 10. Borrow, you have 9 left. Add it here, you add your 10. Borrow, you have 9 left, and here becomes 10. Now, 10 take away 4 is 6. 9 take away 8 is 1. 9 take away 6 is 3. 9 take away 9 is 0. Put your point. Then 6 take away 3, your answer is 3. So here is our answer. Here is our answer. So it is simple to deal with problems that I'll do with all numbers and decimal subtraction. If you understand the concept behind it, it is not a difficult topic to deal with. This aspect of mathematics is simple and you can deal with it and get your right answers. Let me see how I can advance it a little. You might be asked in your examination to subtract and write the place value of each digit. Subtract and add and write out the place values of each digit. For instance, you have to do this. 
you're asked to subtract these numbers and write out the place values. 9. Take away 7.6869. Solution. Express 9 as a four decimal place number. 9.0000. Take away 7.6869. Let's work with that here. That will be 9.0000. Put your point. Before the point, you have 7. And you have 6869. Put your minus sign. 9 take away. 0 take away 9 is not possible. I can't borrow from this 0. I can't borrow from here. I can't borrow from here. I'll borrow from 9. That will be if you borrow, you have 8 left. But the one you borrowed is 10. Add it here, you have your 10. Borrow now from the 10, you have 9 left. Add it here, you have 9 left. Add it here, you have 9 left. And add it here, this becomes 10. 10 take away 9 is 1. 9 take away 6 is 3. 9 take away 8 is 1. And 9 take away 6 is 3. Then 8 take away 7 is 1. Our answer is 1.3131. But you will also write out the place value of each digit. This one is unit. This 3 is tenth. Remember, that will be 3 over 10. Note that this one is 100. 100. That will be 1 over 100. This one is 1,000. 1,000. That will be 3 over 1,000. This one is 10 of 1,000. 10 of 1,000. That will be 1 over 10,000. So this is our answers finally so i'll quickly give you what to do and put your answers for me in this form i'll give you what to do solve get your right answers but put them in this form solve get your right answers put them in this form do this do the following number one you have 12.46 take away 3.9968 Number 2 you have 5 Take away 1.968 3 7.643 Take away 4.231 So get your answers correctly And express out the answers in their place value forms Solve your problems, get your answers, and write your final answers in the place value. Write the place value of each of the digits. Write the place value of each of the digits. It's simple to deal with. I'll see you in your next class. Thank you.